Arsenal are no joke. After years of being in the so-called banter era, finally they have qualified for the Champions League and will play in it next week for the first time in seven years. And now Arsenal are not a team to be messed with as they win a Premier League title race last year and they are one of the strongest teams in England right now. They are able to attract top talents to their club and they have played brilliant football sometimes. But with the huge amount of attacking talent that they have, often the defence gets overlooked in helping Arsenal become this good. But with every defender elevating their game in the last two years, I want to look at one player who is vital to how Arsenal play. And that is of course William Saliba. At the point in time in Arsenal's development they clearly have a lot of very world class and good players around the team. A lot of people that don't like Arsenal seem to discredit a lot of their players but realistically the whole team is very good and is so young so it's on the level of getting even better. And with all these good players you can really make arguments for a lot of players being their best player in the team. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day like I'm not really too bothered about who is actually the best player and who works in the system what should be what matters. Having said that in my opinion William William Saliba is probably the most vital player to the system and how Arsenal play and without him last season we saw it when he got injured Arsenal really struggled after that and there is currently no one in the market or no one in the world who I think can really do the job that Saliba does at such a young age as well he really is a leader for this side and I do really think that he is one of the top five defenders in the world and if not definitely one of the best young defenders in the world so first I want to talk about what makes Saliba so good as an individual player and what attributes that he has so Saliba is stands at six foot four tall and he's actually got a massive build and in Arsenal's defense he is the biggest and most physical imposing defender that they have and he uses this strength and height a lot he's usually quite good at pushing people off the ball and running with them to make sure that they don't go anywhere and he's also so big that when you play against a physical striker let's say such as Antonio then he can keep up with him and physically adapt to his play style but what puts him on that other level is just the fact that he's got amazing athleticism as well he can use his strength and power to catch to keep up with people and push him off the ball or he can use it to keep up with them to make sliding tackles or make great decisional plays and this is the key part of his game he's just so good at running with players and keeping up with them that his pace is so good for a centre back as well and it just makes every striker struggle to do it if players get in behind him they struggle to stay there because he just keeps up and can do so many different parts of the game and not only that he is also very good on the ball and has a brilliant technical ability he finds it quite easy to glide past players and just do what he wants in that defence making it look easy at time but to me the best part of his game in defense is how cool and calm he is on the ball because we've seen it with a lot of defenders around the world and even for Arsenal defenders back in the day often they can be good but when under real pressure if there's no calmness there they do make mistakes and this is something only the real leading defenders in the world are really good at and Gabriel who's a phenomenal defender does definitely get a bit nervous he makes a bit mistakes sometimes but when he's next to Saliba then mistakes have pretty much been nullified and I think he's been one of the best defenders himself in the last six months and I I think their partnership is brilliant and at just the age of 22 it's kind of scary to think Saliba is this composed and this good on the ball and this good at so many different things there's definitely weaknesses to his game like he's not great at marking people from corners and marking people from crosses but look everyone has weaknesses in their game especially when you're young no one's going to be flawless even the best players in the world are not flawless and these attributes have definitely been developed over the years and they definitely got a lot better in the last two seasons I mean he got in two now team of the years one in league good and one in the Premier League but it really does show that on Arsenal spent 30 30 mil on him when he was 18 that they really saw the potential in him and really saw how well he could do and when he was in that team he's with Fafana there was other players like Tadebo in France that were also rated and I gotta say I do think he's the best one even though them other players are very good as well. So let's explain how Arteta plays football and just how vital Saliba is to the system. I've made a few videos about Arsenal's system I did one about Rice and I did one about Havertz so I've kind of gone over it quite a lot but Arteta does like to change things around a lot I mean he's already said that he's played about 60 formations this season which is just just crazy and often he will change things depending on who Arsenal play and then sort of who is available to play such as Hardy being injured right now so he can't do it and Sinchenko is injured earlier in the season but on a basic level Arsenal play a positional play system which is now popularized in the main you know managers around the world I mean Pep Guardiola uses it as well and the principles of positional play is basically just to move when there is space just to keep moving around the pitch and sort of people don't have set positions unless you're maybe a defender and it's more just like you just play a role and you pick up positions around that role now it sounds very easy when you pull it like this but when you actually play it it's incredibly hard to keep knowing your role and keep playing it that's why I think we've seen Arsenal struggle a bit this season some of the players don't know where they've got to be and what they've got to do all the time but only the smartest players can really get a hold of this system it's one of the hardest things to learn but I guess when it succeeds it is really good and really effective and you'll probably be one of the best teams in the Europe and Arsenal like to play a three centre back situation when they're on the ball so usually someone invert and go into midfield so right 
right now, that would probably be Sinchenko, and then it'll be White, Gabriel, and Saliba would probably play that back three, which we saw most of our season. This helps Arsenal keep a lot of pressure on the ball, and they actually want to move the ball as quick as possible from the defence to the attack. That's why you see them buying goalkeepers that are very good at distributing, such as Ramsdale and Alreya. And specifically, their defenders are actually very good at passing, and a lot of them have quite high passing numbers and quite high progressive numbers. And Saliba is no different to that. He has a lot of passes per game, and he actually has decent progressive numbers as well. And this means Saliba doesn't really have a lot of tackles and interceptions per game, but this is just the fact that Arsenal have the ball a lot and really get counted, so he doesn't really have the opportunity to make high tackles. And also, out of him and Gabriel, Gabriel's the one that's more of the destructor than Saliba, where Saliba will only really make a slide tackle or a tackle if he really thinks it's necessary, mostly getting near the goal, but usually times him very well, and he's got quite famous for this. And Arsenal's success in the last two years has been down to a lot of things, but Arsenal wanted to have a rock and core of defence, and they've had it. I mean, now they've just resulted back to their back four against United, and they won, but you've got to say Saliba and Gabriel together work perfectly. With the amount that Arsenal have the ball, Arsenal do like also play in a bit of a high line at times, just in case that they need to get back and try and keep the pressure on the pit. And this high line has definitely hurt them in some games, but it is going to be like that. Sometimes you're just not going to get it right. But Saliba helps them play this so much more than any other player in the team. And this is because even if that they don't have the best offside trap and the line is not great enough and someone gets through, Saliba, if there's enough pitch to cover, Saliba will often get back and do a tackle or be there for the attack. This is because his pace is outstanding for a young centre-back and he can really, really keep up with the bigger strikers in the league. And with his calm and composure, he often makes the right decision. He's not going to make the right decision all the time. It's definitely a hard situation. But you can see last season, there was moments where they'd get in behind and Saliba would just catch up and make the right tackle. And despite Gabriel being great, and I do think he can do a lot of other things, he's not really going to catch up and get, part, get back with the defence. And I don't think any of the other defenders that Arsenal have do. Other than maybe Kivio, but Kivio won't play on that right centre-back role anyway. And another reason why Saliba is so important to this team is kind of down to his partnership with Gabriel. Now, these two players only played with each other last season and straight away when Arsenal went unbeaten at the start of the season, they created a partnership that was brilliant. And even now, the partnership is so good. We saw against Man United, Arsenal were way better defensively than they were in other games. But I know Gabriel only didn't play because Zinchenko weren't back, so he couldn't invert. But the two together are so good. And Gabriel needs to be played with Saliba, I think, probably is the main starting too. And we can tell how much Arteta respects this partnership because last season he actually said he don't see central defenders as a sort of one position. He sees it as a system and a sort of combination of players. So he judges how you play in that position with the players around you playing off them then rather than you just playing there by yourself as an individual player. Which is actually a very interesting way of looking at it. But definitely Gabriel and Saliba have created a core of Arsenal that is really unstoppable in defence. And they sort of make up for each other's lack of ability in certain areas. So despite Saliba being the bigger one, he's actually not very good in the air and misses quite a lot of his jewels and headers but usually Gabriel is pretty good in the air and pretty good at winning headers and also Gabriel is more of the physical centre back he'll go on have a fight with the striker he'll start pushing them he'll start having a good go and Saliba is not sort of that player he sort of stays back and makes his tackles when needed to being very calm and Gabriel has made a lot of mistakes in the past where people seem to discredit how good he is now which is stupid but with Saliba he is so much better he is so much more calmer when Saliba's calmness next to him and Gabriel is sort of that defender that you expect to make mistakes of how he plays but Gabriel has been brilliant the last year as well and overall Saliba and Gabriel together sort of cover most angles they can they cover the fast strikers they cover the strong strikers obviously there's going to be players that score but they are obviously really are good together one of Arsenal's best decisions as well was getting Saliba on that new deal when he only had two years left this summer that is a brilliant decision I actually think this guy is going to be the future of Arsenal's defense Saliba is a real future star thank you for watching and let me know who you want next